Hi, my name is Rona. I'm a registered nurse here in California. I work in a trauma hospital on their direct observational unit, and also I work in pre-op and PACU. What really made me go into nursing was my grandfather. He did have lymphatic cancer, and unfortunately he did pass away. Going to the hospital with my family and seeing how the doctors, the nurses took really good care of him, it really inspired me. I know it definitely inspired my mom, my uncle, because they're also all in medicine. When I decided that I wanted to be a nurse, my parents were like, really? Because we thought you were going to be a lawyer because you just love to argue so much. And I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But I still feel like that's what I do at my job. I fight for my patients. It's kind of mixed into being a nurse because we definitely advocate for our patients every day. I started in a new grad program, but what happened was that new grad program fell apart. We had a lot of people leave because we were short staffed. This was a situation that was completely unexpected. Nurses have this motto where we hope for the best, but we expect for the worst. And so my mom kept reminding me, you need to hope for the best because one day you will be at a place that you're going to be really truly happy at. I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to tell people my side of the story from the insider in nursing school, what my challenges are, what I learned, what tips do I have for people. And sure enough, people at my school were like, hey, are you Rona? I just saw your math video, that really helped me out. That made me feel so good knowing that I just helped someone. And then as a nurse right now on the floor, people still come up to me and are like, oh my God, you got me through nursing school. And I just give them the biggest hug because I'm like, wow, I can't believe that I'm actually making a difference. My favorite video that I kind of just described to people my experience taking my board exam and the fact that I just failed my board exam and just recording that was really hard for me. But at the same time, I just had to tell people Look, I failed, and it's okay to fail at things. Just don't be hard on yourself, because the master at anything was once a beginner. When you're going through something, you feel like you're the only one going through that. Even till this day, people are telling me how much that video inspired them. My favorite part about my job is talking with the patient's families. I love getting to know them. I love talking to them about what's going on with their brother or their dad. You know what, it's still a challenge today to deal with difficult patients. When the family's at the bedside, it's hard for us to kind of, you know, let the patient know that this is what you need versus this is what you don't need. Because we have patients who just want to live their life this way, and we're trying to make those changes so that they can live a better, healthier life. So we try to involve the family as much as we can, like, please, you gotta help us, and we'll try to talk to them privately. And then when they come back in, they're kind of like, wait, what? What's going on here? But it, it's really important to get the family involved. The way that I like to de-stress after a really bad shift is just come home, maybe vent you know, to my nursing friends or my family and let them know what happened. And sometimes I don't want to talk about it because you're just reliving that scenario. So I'll just call up my brother and I'll ask him, hey, do you want to go shoot some hoops? And I think he knows what that means. We don't even have to talk. Like, we don't have to say anything to each other. We just play a game and that's it. Please invite your family to your home or keep them close to you for support because your family is your biggest advocate. It's your biggest supporter. They're your cheerleaders. They're there to support you.